Do y'all think if I hide it under a hat, my hair will just look normal for once? Hey, I have very damaged hair and I've been this way for like fuck knows how long. And I'm done. I'm done with it. I'm so over this shit. And I'm gonna change it this year, I swear to God. Some backstory. I have thick, curly hair. It's mostly wavy. If I'm gonna do the wavy girl method, which I'm, I'm gonna do it. I don't even know why I'm saying that like it's an option. I'm gonna do the wavy girl method. I have wavy hair. It's probably 2B, maybe 2C. Like my hair by itself, like it what it's, you can really like see it in the back. Not that I had a hair, fucking hat on it now. But you can really see it in the back that like my hair wants to do those like really prominent S curls, but it can't because my hair is super thick, super dry, super frizzy. I probably have medium to high porosity in the sense that if I go to sleep with wet hair, God help me if it, if it fucking doesn't dry, if, if I don't place it right so that it dries. Cause if it's under me, like this is very common where I'll sleep on one side and because I don't move all that often, it just, this, this side never dries ever. And, and you can just see already, just look at that. Look how damaged that is. And it's not even like damage. My sister's a hairstylist and she's like, that's not damage, that's just how your hair is, fam. And I'm like, that can't be true. So, little backstory. I'm not someone who puts a lot of effort into their hair. I've never been that kind of person. I'm someone who washes my hair maybe once or twice a week. And I just don't fuck with it. I've never been one to really um, heat style it. I mean, I, like I, there were, I go through phases. I went through phases. I, I don't heat, I haven't heat styled it for the past, I don't know, like year or so. Like I, like I, sl I do fucking C curls for special, for special events. Beyond that, and I like keeping my hair short. I don't tend to grow it out past like, past like here, past here on me. So it, it's like, I'm not doing that much to, to cause this much, stress, this much stress with my hair. And yet it's so damn stressful. Oh my God. Washing it is a pain in the ass because it's just so fucking thick. Drying it, like I said, it's a pain in the ass because it's so fucking thick. Trying to get like shit to lather, especially when you're using the proper sulfate free shampoos. Tell me how, tell me how, because I've been using a specially formatted for like really, uh, really dry hair from fucking IGK. That's like a coconut one where like I asked my sister, like, why isn't this lathering? And she's like, well, it's just really concentrated. Like you really gotta get it wet. I have to fucking double rinse my hair because it's so thick. And I guess maybe because it, it, it clings on to shit real well. Maybe I need to wash it more, who knows? You would think looking at it, I don't, but who knows? What got me here, because this isn't the end of the story, is when I was in university, I got my hair rose, uh, what's it called? Rose gold. So it was like, it, it's like pink, but it's not like, you're bleaching your hair white to put pink on pink. It's it's a rose gold sort of cool tone, sort of darker mid-tone pink. And then my sister, when she gave me, the, you know, product to make sure my hair stays healthy, she gave me this extremely potent and thick and just so weighing down shampoo and conditioner and it made my hair just so greasy and so oily that I just basically couldn't use it. Cause it, I, I would use it maybe once, once a week, once every week and a half. And still my hair would just be like super gross and oily. So I stopped using that and then I bought off Amazon this, this um, toner shampoo. And little did I know, you are not supposed to use those all the time. So I'm using this super stripping toning shampoo 
for two years, even when like I'm not even trying to keep my hair a specific tone, like I've gone back to brown, it's whatever. I'm using that and then suddenly my hair is starting to look like this, starting to look like that, even worse. And I have kinkier hair, you know, for a way, I have Turkish, like Middle Eastern ancestry, so I have kinkier hair. And, and I'm used to those kinks, but like after this shit, after a year and a half, two years of using this shit, you would think that I went into some like radioactive site and the, the radioactiveness from that just made these weird ass fucking textures in my hair. It got so bad, you would like, my sister genuinely thought that I had severely heat damaged my hair. There were so there were so many significant portions of my hair that were so dry, that were so brittle. She thought, "Oh yeah, you heat damage them." I'm like, "Well, I I I barely touch a flat iron nowadays. I don't know how I'm heat damaging them." He's like, "No, you're heat damaging." So now what I did? Cut that shit off. And that's why I like when I put my hair up, or even just now, it's like I have so many flyaways. I have so many flyaways because I'm like, well, I mean, it's dead hair. Once I cut it off, it's gonna be better. So I cut like all this hair off, just like just went through, grabbed the pieces that were super brittle and crunchy and like basically falling apart and snipped them. And then I would take a shower and now I'm using, you know, proper shampoo, proper conditioner that's supposed to be nourishing. And then I'd come out and all that shit that I just cut off to, you know, the healthy hair is cracking and dry and brittle and just split it. What the fuck? What the fuck? Ugh. And it's only now, after a, a year, a year of using proper shampoo and conditioner, that my hair is starting to fucking figure itself out, but still have this mess. I know I have wavy definition. I know because I can feel it in like the, I can see it, not even feel it. I can feel and see it in the back of my head. But it's like, especially up here where most of the damage occurred, who knows where? Why? <laughs> Why? Oh man, it, it's just, it's it's like, I don't, it's so thick, it's dry, it's brittle, and yet it gets greasy. It gets, I don't, oh, and I fucking have dandruff. You can see it in so many of my videos. Just, oh, it's so annoying. So yeah, 2020 is the year that I'm fixing my hair. Tomorrow I'm gonna go to Ulta, and I'm gonna get the Paul Mitchell ginger something, it's like a word, it's like Indian, I don't know, shampoo that my sister recommended for me. It has a like keratin in it, so that'll, that should help, right? Right? And then I'm going to get some wavy girl stuff. So the Not Your Mother's Curl Definer and gel. I don't know if I should get a mousse. I feel like I should get a mousse. I don't know. I don't know if it's too late or if that if the gel is too crispy i don't know but um we'll see how it goes it's starting this weekend and we're gonna fucking sort this terrible mess out so what this is like a before and after pick uh of what is probably i don't know like two two b maybe two c hair see you in like three, three or five months and I don't know, we'll see. Oh, maybe, yeah, yeah, there, there, look at you go. Look at that, that's like shit that wants to curl and be wavy and beautiful and soft and luscious and can't, so. We'll get this sorted. <laughs>